Okay, so this is just a quick video that I'm making to show someone on the Art of Pilot forums how to add video to Mission Planner. Uh, really what you need to do is you just need to be feeding video into the computer. And so the way I'm gonna do it is that I have a quadcopter here that just has a regular 5.8 uh, video transmitter. The video transmitter is encased in that TPU mount. It happens to be a TVS Unified Pro um, and a regular FPV camera. So the camera sends signal to the um, flight controller and the flight controller has a video output that does the OSD, but it could also work if the camera was just giving video directly to the transmitter. Okay, so the transmitter is gonna output it through the antenna. Um, the key is this little device, which is the Isshin uh, ROTG01 Pro 5.8 gigahertz receiver, and it connects via USB to the computer. Uh, you can also connect it in a flight controller with that cable, but for now, ignore that. It's just going through the USB to the computer. Now, the key is that when you plug it into the computer, Windows should recognize the driver and then tell you that you have a USB PC camera. Okay, so that's uh, an important piece. It needs to be recognized in your computer. Then you can test it. Um, typically, what you get is the view from the uh, front-facing camera. That light is turned on. But if you change camera, it should give you, in this particular case, an image of static because right now that... Uh, receiver is not tuned to the quadcopter. So plug in the quadcopter. Quadcopter is now on and should be just now transmitting video from this camera. So this is plugged in and on this receiver that what you do is you press one of the orange buttons and hold it. And as you can see, uh, let's see, there we go. It starts scanning the frequencies. As you press and hold that orange button, I had to do it again and hold it a little bit longer. Now it starts scanning all the frequencies. So it detected that there's a signal at this frequency as it scans the rest. And then it comes back and should pick right in the middle of that frequency, the highest signal. So now I'm looking at the image from the camera on the computer, okay? Now it's important that you close this because the video feed is only available to one application at a time. But now that we confirmed that we have video going into the computer, on that USB camera, I can simply open Mission Planner. And the way to enable this on the um, on the Mission Planner screen is you go into Config, then Planner, then you select the camera, right? It can be the integrated webcam, but in this case, I'm using the USB 2.0 PC camera and hit Start. Now, when you hit Start, you don't see anything yet, but when you come back into that data window, there's the video, and as you can see, I wave my hand in front of it, and you can see my hand on the screen for Mission Planner. So that's the way that it would work. Um, of course, you probably wanna have your Mission Planner connect to telemetry on, the, on your um, airframe. Right now, it's not connected, but the video is already working. Again, all you have to do is send the video signal through a VTX, capture it with your video receiver, feed it into your computer as a, as a USB connection. So the computer just sees that as a web camera. And so now it has the video feed available and you show it through Mission Planner. So that's how you get the video into Mission Planner um, on, the, um, on the HUD display. Hope the video was useful. If you liked it, let me know. If you wanna see other videos, let me know. I'll try to make them short and brief like this one. Share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thank you.